Hi friends, welcome to my not a sewing vlog. I'm your hostess, Emily. Did I like that one? Mm -hmm. Maybe less drama, maybe like... Oh, hello friends. Welcome to It's Not a Sewing Vlog. No, I don't like that either. What about like, um, maybe I don't turn around. Maybe I'm just like, welcome friends to my not a sewing vlog. <sighs> well, I don't know. Maybe none of them. I don't know. Anyway. Hi friends. Uh, I know there wasn't a video on Wednesday. I have a bunch of video clips from a trip I recently went on in to Phoenix. And um, I think I'm going to insert them into this video, uh, into this vlog. Uh, but uh, I don't love them. They're kind of like most of them are um, kind of depressing. Let me tell you why. Well, okay. First, Let's talk about this. Let's talk about why I look amazing today. So my birthday is on Monday and, um, because Monday is a work day. Um, I had kind of my birthday party today. I did a birthday tea and invited pretty much all my girlfriends to come to tea, uh, to a place in Tacoma to Washington called, uh, the Olive Branch Cafe and Tea Room. It's this cute little place that is just full of like, uh, antique and vintage furniture. And it has, uh, like China everywhere and decorations everywhere. It's really great. It has a grand piano with a delightful gentleman who volunteers to play the piano there. It's so cute. And I told everyone, Hey, what if we dress, you know, kind of retro, like forties through the sixties. Um, and you, you know, try and wear a hat. I think, you know, you're going to tea, you should wear a hat. It's kind of a thing. Anyway, pretty much everyone showed up for the assignment. It was amazing. We had so much fun. I'll be posting pictures and I got to wear my birthday dress. Let me tell you about my birthday dress and show you my birthday dress as much as I can. Birthday dress. So we all admire the poofy dressmakers that are out there. You know, we all know Selkie, there's Jessica, there's, okay, my mind just blanked. There were like two other ones in my brain um, that, but they make, there's the fairy, fairy tongue, fairy ton, I think, the space in England. They, they all make these foofy, like, like fantasy, fluffy confection dresses that we just love. Unfortunately, the majority of them are either A, priced out of my range, or B, not size inclusive enough for me. Um, but Jessica last December did a, an amazing, um, I think it was December did an amazing clearance sale and I was finally able to get some dresses and I got two dresses and this, I have put this one aside as my birthday dress and I was so excited. And when I ordered these dresses, I measured myself because there's a chart for your measurements to make sure you order the right size. And I extra measured myself. And as a seamstress, I know how. So I expected them to fit for the most part. Yesterday, when I tried this dress on, I discovered it is like three sizes too big. Okay. You ready for this? Look at this dress. It is 
huge mungus on me. It is so big. I am going to have to take this dress in so much. Um, and I was like, no, this is my birthday dress. I'm wearing this dress on my birthday. Um, it's happening. So I did what we women do. I added a belt. So I added this cute pink belt and I basically pulled out the sides and folded them to make this dress kind of fit me. Um, it's still a little baggy-ish, but it worked. It worked for the day. Um, the second dress I bought from them that I'm also excited to wear, I tried on yesterday too after discovering that this one's three sizes too big, and that one's like two sizes too big. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened because I measured myself according to their charts. So, and ordered the sizes. So I don't know. And the reviews are great. You almost never see anything in the reviews about sizing being weird. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird fluke thing that happened to me, but I'm going to have to take the dress in quite a bit and the other one in before I get to wear it. The other one is a really pretty spring dress too. It's very long. Um, and I am looking forward to wearing that as well. I also got this amazing vintage hat a few years ago when I was antiquing with my friend Rebecca and I've never had a chance to wear it. And I was like, this matches perfectly. I'm wearing my hat. Um, tea was delightful. Um, I ended up with friend Brianna, uh, Christy, Kelsey, Melinda, Andrea, uh, sitting there, I was sitting there, I was sitting there, I was sitting there. Rachel and Cynthia. But there were, oh, I was, I was the eighth one. <laughs> Just kidding. Doing math, doing math. Oh no. Um, and we had so much fun. I also got to use my new purse. Thank you. My beautiful new purse that looks like a teapot. It is absolutely stunning. It was a great uh, birthday present. Comes with this little uh, coin purse that is shaped like a teacup. I'm so excited. The only thing is, as cute as this like pearl strap is, um, it's a little uncomfortable to hold for like long periods of time, and it's very short. So I think I'm going to um, make a long white strap for it, um, out of maybe some shiny pleather or something to match. Um, yeah, it's adorable and I love it and it's amazing. And so far it's one of my favorite birthday gifts. Um, so I went to tea today and that was awesome. Monday is going to be kind of a low key birthday day. I took it off of work because I'm a huge advocate of birthdays being for birthdays. Like even if you're celebrating your birthday on a different day, you should still do some celebrating on your actual birthday because birthdays are for birthdays. Um, but everyone else is going to be at work. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing on my birthday. Probably probably sewing or panicking about sewing and doing some planning things and maybe cleaning my house. Haha, -ha, that will not happen. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't have new sewing updates for you at the moment other than I think I will be dropping one of my sewing projects. Um, and that means dropping out of one of the things I'm going to be doing just for my sanity, uh, because I have kind of overextended myself, especially when it comes to the Victorian festival that is coming up in like a month. 
Um, uh, I just came back from a, an amazing trip to Phoenix where I got to meet one of my costuming heroes, Sir Dressmaker. Trey is amazing. Um, we got to go to tea with Trey and two of their friends. Uh, and, uh, we just hit it off. It was just the best. We looked adorable. I have posted pictures on Instagram if you're interested. Um, and then the next day there was the garden party that I was initially going for. And it was at this beautiful historical home and the garden party was out on the lawn and tons of people are dressed up in every era from like 1850 through like the 1950s. And it was so great on, I, I have some video clips and I'm going to tack them on to the end of this, but I, and I, and I am going to edit them because I had a hard time on this trip. And I, and I wanted to like talk with you before I put these clips on here. And here's why, first of all, I don't travel alone very well. So, um, you know, flying out there. And then when I got there, there was an issue where my, uh, my room was canceled and I had to scramble for a new room and all this stuff. And I'm doing this all alone. And, um, so I got there Friday, like midday and was finally got into a hotel room and I was just there all alone. I ordered food to be delivered because everything there, everything in Phoenix, like downtown Phoenix says, you know, be careful. People are going to try to steal from you. People are going to knock on your hotel room door. Do not answer it to anyone. If, if someone says it's housekeeping and you don't feel comfortable, call the front desk to verify who it is. Um, you know, don't leave your room at night unless, you know, you feel comfortably safe that you can make it to your car and, you know, keep an eye on your vehicle and don't leave anything like just tons and tons of warnings, warning. This is not a safe place to be. And I was like, where am I? This is, this is terrifying. And I hadn't met anyone yet. And so I was really, I was having a hard time because here I was, you know, on the other side of the country. Well, not, not width wise, but like lengthwise. Um, the other side of the country, um, to visit people who hadn't contacted me about like meeting up with them yet. And, um, and I know other people have lives. I totally get that. But like, I guess I, I always judge everything by how I would do it. And that is so unfair. It's so unfair. Um, because I am a crazy friend person. Like, friends come to visit me, you have a hundred percent of my attention. If I can get that day off work, I will. If I can't, I am coming to you the second I am off work. We are going to spend the whole evening together. I will take you out to dinner. We will do the things. We will do the stuff. Hey, I'll have you stay with me if I can. doesn't matter if I haven't met you before. We are friends. It is happening. You know, it's just like, I'm the friend, I'm the friend person, you know? And so to have just been left totally alone, while I'm dealing with all of this stuff, that first day was really hard. And then we met up for tea and tea was delightful and fun and amazing. And we stood outside and we talked forever and then everyone went home and I went back to my hotel room and that's where I was all my Saturday night. And I know people were like still sewing their outfits and stuff for the event. And I was just like, you could have invited me over to like sit and talk to you while you sew or I don't know. I just, it was very lonely. The majority of the trip I was, I was very lonely, very alone and just kind of <sighs> wondering why I was there. <laughs> um, but the times that I was hanging out with friends and stuff were, were great. I had so much fun. We had so much fun. Oh my gosh, the garden party 
we were just running around in our Edwardian outfits, just having a blast. Some of Trey's friends were there, uh, kind of escorting us around the house. Earlier in the day, I actually got to, um, if you follow Sir Dressmaker, which you absolutely should, on Instagram, you'll notice that this gorgeous Victorian home is in the background of all of his uh, videos and pictures. And I actually got to tour that house earlier that day. And I was all dressed up in like 1890s. And it was kind of interesting. Me all dressed up and then a tour of regular people. But after the tour, the tour guide was very sweet and took some pictures of me in the parlor and on the stairs. And they actually like linked to my pictures on their Instagram. So I guess they liked them. I thought that was really sweet. Um, and so I loved getting to tour two historical homes in one day. That was amazing. It's one of the things I really enjoy and really love to do. Um, and then this garden party had amazing food. One of Trey's friends, uh, like provided all of the food and made a bunch of the, the pastries and stuff because she is amazing. I believe her name is Sarah. I will try to get stuff information, <laughs> the correct information in the description at some point in time. I always try to do that. doesn't always work, but I'll try. Um, it was really fun. Overall, it was a great trip. I loved uh, getting to meet Trey. I loved getting to meet his friends. Um, I would never live in Phoenix. And other than visiting friends there, I would not go to Phoenix because there was no green. Like it was brown and, and tan everywhere and sand and rocks everywhere and cactus and the sky was so bright. The sun, it's a different sun. Um, and I just felt like I was on like an alien world. And when I flew into, when I flew back home and I flew into Seattle, there was a light misting rain and a slight fog like slight foggy mist going through all of the green trees. And I was just like, oh, I am home. Oh, I'm home. It was so great. Um, yeah, it was really special. Um, I really was hoping that I would be able to show you progress made on my 1890s ball gown for the ball that I'm hosting next month. Unfortunately, I keep changing my mind. I will have the fabric picked out, my inspiration photo picked out, everything picked out, and then I will change my mind. And I keep telling myself, you can't do this. You can't change your mind. And then I'll be like, oh, but you know what would be great. And I just don't know how to, I don't know how to snap out of that. I don't know how to just like focus and be like, this is it. Just do it. This is it. Just be done. Um, also my friends are all making these, like I have a couple of friends who are recreating worth gowns. Um, like, uh, my friend Melinda is like digitizing the lace or is and like it, it, doing the lace embroidery with her fancy embroidery machine. And like, she's recreating this worth gown. And I know a couple of others are doing worth gowns as well. And others are like recreating historical dresses and stuff. And I'm like, man, if I just have my like wide A-line skirt fitted bodice, big sleeves, uh, by, by the time the ball rolls around, I, I will feel like I have succeeded, you know? And, uh, one of my friends who's coming to the ball messaged me a few days ago and said, Oh, tell me about your ball gown you're hosting. So of course you're going to, yours is, has to be amazing or you have to have the best looking one there or something. And I was like, why would you put that expectation on me? That's like, I'm sweating. Just thinking about like, why don't, don't do that. No, uh, -uh. I don't have to No, that can't happen. I will have to cancel this ball if that's what's supposed to happen because that will not happen. Isn't going to happen won't happen. Um, my head is getting really warm. So I'm going to pull my amazing hat off. Actually, it is so beautiful and it's so well intact. So 
don't remember where this goes. I'm going to put this right here where it can stay safe. Um, my hair is all poofy uppy in the back. Um, does not, it's, I keep trying to tell myself this is not a con costuming. It's not a contest. I feel like a lot of people think that like this world is like some kind of contest and you have to be the best one at it. You know, maybe other people who are in this feel that way. But for me, I just want to be a part of it. Like, I just want to dress up with everyone else. Um, I don't need to be the best, which would never happen anyway. Um, I certainly don't want to be the worst, but I, I just want to be in the middle, you know, just being a part of it and, and whatnot. So I hope she's wrong. I hope people don't expect the host or hostess to be the best dressed one because that is not going to happen. George, what? I know there's no one there. I know you're one. My dog keeps poking his head around the corner and like whining. And it's because he can see me talking to someone, but there is nobody there. And he's very confused. He's, he's showing more and more signs of, I, I am old. You know, he's showing more and more old dog signs. And it's, it's, it's getting worrisome. It's, it's kind of hurting my heart a lot. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to stop this for now. Ooh, I have to show you this fabric though. Uh, I just found it in my stash. I forget when I bought it. Not that long ago, but it's one of the fabrics that like I bought. Wait, where's handsome hubby? Handsome hubby. Okay. He's downstairs. Um, it's one of the ones that I like purchased and then immediately like shoved into the stash so that he wouldn't know that I had purchased it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, I know there's not a lot of it. There's only like two, three yards. There's not a lot of it, so I've got to figure out what that small yardage means to me, but it's got like fuchsia and, and deep orange and deep, like fuchsia red and gold and like a pale green and like, it's just, and it's silk. I know it's silk. It's amazing. Um, I like to stare at it. Do you ever do that? You just stare at your fabrics and you're like, just owning you makes me really happy. And the idea of turning you into something fills me with anxiety. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this summer to maybe make something out of it. I'm not sure. I have so much to do. Vic Fest and then right after Vic Fest, uh, anything that I haven't made from like Vic Fest or earlier this year that doesn't fit for what I need for costume college, then I go after Vic Fest, I go into costume college sewing. Basically, I won't get a break until after July. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, uh, I think uh, I'm going to go frolic downstairs because um, I need a little more frolicking in poofy dress before I change my clothes. So enjoy these few clips, potentially depressing, hopefully more cheerful at the end for my trip to Phoenix. And I will see you hopefully next Wednesday. Bye friends. It's day one in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, it is, there is so much sun. Like where, this is a different sun than there is in um, Washington. It's very different sun. It's, this is a bright sun and it's, and it's very white and it's hot. And I don't remember the sun. Um, the sky is very blue, so that's pretty. And it's warm, it's very warm. Um, it has not been the best day. Uh, 
I had to wait in line for like two hours to get my rental car and then they didn't have um, they didn't have the little Kia that I requested I just wanted a little car I drive a little car I just wanted a little car um, they tried to put me in an electric car but I don't really know what to do with those I'd love to know but I don't really know like where do I plug it in can I plug it in at the place I'm staying I don't know so then they tried to put me in a huge Suburban and I was like, um, I was like, no, I, I can't drive a gigantic Suburban. I drive a tiny little car. Uh, that thing is like a weapon of mass destruction in my hands. I can't drive that. So now I'm driving, driving a Nissan something. Um, it's, it is an SUV, but it's, um, I'd say it's like a smaller end SUV. I like it when um, we have to eventually replace my little red car that I love. Um, I would be interested in this car. Uh, I have been sitting in my car waiting for check-in. Um, my, the place that I, so, okay. So hotels are super, super expensive in Phoenix. Super, super expensive. So I, um, I was on booking.com. I just used booking.com. I don't know. That's what I, that's who I use. That's who I trust. This is not an ad. That's just who I use. So I was, um, back in January, I booked a casita, which is like a little, like mother-in-law apartment house or something in someone's backyard. And just, it's like a little one bedroom, little place. And she calls me today and says, oh, we can't accommodate you for today. Uh, we can accommodate you for the rest of the nights, but not tonight. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, we're having an issue. Doesn't tell me what the issue is. She's like, I'll call around and see if I can find another place for you to stay for tonight. And I'm like, okay, not having, you know, anxiety over this at all. An hour later, I get a notification from booking.com uh, that she canceled my stay so I go into full panic mode because not only are hotels really expensive here but um, the cheaper end ones all of their reviews are like this place is super sketchy there are prostitutes here um, people knock on the doors asking you for money there are cockroaches it is filthy and I I can't do any of that especially when I'm traveling alone you know so I like go into a full on panic and get a reservation at the first hotel that I'm like, okay, this is the one where people are like, it's clean and I felt safe here. And it cost me the same per night that my entire stay cost at this other place. So Handsome Hubby is going to love that. Um, so I got to the hotel and I have to wait until four to check in. And I'm sitting in the car, because in Washington, you can just sit in your car and wait. I'm sitting in my car and I realize that I'm like sweating profusely and and my breathing is getting really like, huh, 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 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like overheating in this car. I didn't, I hadn't cracked a window or anything. I just didn't think about it because it doesn't get this warm until like the middle of summer in Washington. So now I'm standing outside um, next to a rose bush. Can you see the rose bush? Flower bush? Some kind of flower bush. And the sprinklers. Yes. I'm getting quite wet. Um, but the sprinklers feel amazing. Um, there's actually sprinklers down on the lawn. There's sprinklers down on the lawn that I'm very tempted to run through. I'm just afraid. Um, because I have to go check in in about 10 minutes and, uh, uh, you know, they may not appreciate me walking in completely soaking wet. So this way, just like the top hat, ooh, I'm actually really, really wet. Okay, maybe I should back away. Um, but it was, it was very lovely. Um, I'm already sunburned. Um, how in the world, oh, it's my left arm. So, looks like the window of the car has already sunburnt me a little bit. I figured out why Stephanie Meyer wrote 
um, vampires the way she did. So you, she's the one who wrote, wrote Twilight, in case you didn't know. Um, I think that she, because she's from the Midwest, and I think she met some vacationers from Washington. And I think she saw them step out of their vehicle and they were pale white. And she saw them just like go ah! from the sun and their skin probably sparkled because it was getting crispy. And she was probably like, wow, that's kind of vampire-ish, vampire-y. And um, that's where she got her idea to write this story about vampires. That is my theory because, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure people think I'm a ghost walking around out here because I am the palest person I can see. And I swear I can feel the sun like intentionally trying to bake me. Um, I swear the sun here is like, oh, oh, target, target her, target that, target that thing down there, that white, that white thing in the big pink fluffiness. It, 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 it's so white. It's like a gleaming, like alarm. It, it's, it's begging to be burnt. Anyway, um, so... I'm dying to get into my hotel room. I just want to lay on the bed and um, maybe take a nap because I've been up since like 4 a.m. Um, more to come. More to come. Hi. So, in case you were worried, I made it into a hotel room. Probably the most expensive hotel room I've ever stayed in. But I am here. And I feel safe. <laughs> um, it's actually a really nice room. Um, there's like a little front living room area. And then the bathroom, like, there's like, just past this little living room area where there's like this, there's not a couch. There's like a chaise lounge that I'm lounging on. Kind of wish there was a couch because, I don't know, it feels weird. But, um... And then there's like a big old flat screen TV right there, which is kind of hard because you have to like turn sideways or you have to like sit on the chaise lounge like a couch. It's a little weird. Um, and then there's a desk and then there's past that is like the bathroom area and there is a sink with lots of counter space around it. I know, I know. Uh, my stuff is all organized and spread out. My makeup, my hair supplies, everything. Um, and a huge mirror with really good lighting above it. And then there's like a little private uh, bathroom area um, that has the tub shower and the toilet and all of that with like a door closed. So were anyone to come visit me, which I can't see happening. But if I ever stayed here again, which I also can't see happening just because of the price. Um, it's nice because like people could come and hang out in your room and you can shut the door off to your bedroom. You can, you know, ha and that's like all by itself. Like there's a door to the bedroom. There's a nice little hanging area, all my clothes and costumes are hung up. I have my hats out here in the living room. There's, um, under the TV, there is a kind of like a little dresser thing that has a mini fridge, which is like a pretty big mini fridge. It goes up to the waist. Um, there's a microwave and a little coffee maker thing, which makes me wish I'd brought more stuff with me because I didn't know what there was going to be. And I, I'd always planned to stop at like a, I was planned to like stop at a store but today was so up in the air and I didn't know what I was going to end up with. So, um, and I keep thinking I should leave and go to a store and pick up some supplies, but I just don't want to. <laughs> today I was supposed to go like check out, there are these two different historical sites I was going to go look at. I was going to run to the store and I just had plans for today that just completely fell off the map and I'm like 
my skin is peeling. I've got all these, like all this acne has shown up just from sweating today. Like just from, just from sweating. Like I've sweat so much today that my skin is like, I hate you. <laughs> but it's also like super, super dry. Um, I don't I, I don't know. The air is sucking the life out of me here. It's uh, super fun. But um, I'm here. I'm safe. Um, this is my room. Um, please ignore that the TV is on. I found Pitch Perfect 3, I think, which I don't believe I've seen, and it's very cute and fun. But... So that's my room. Uh, I hope you got to see some of it because I didn't just hit the button that turns the camera around. I just, yeah. And I was looking at what I filmed earlier and wow, these have got to be like the most unattractive angles of me that I have ever filmed. But guess what? This is what I look like. <laughs> the attractive angles of me. This is what I look like. But also... This is what I look like. I look like all of this. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to hide it. This is what I, this is what I look like people. Um, so yeah, uh, more to come. Come down for treats. <laughs> Hi friends and welcome to my not a sewing vlog. How can I trip up on the word sewing? Or was it the word vlog? It doesn't matter because we're moving on now. Um, excuse my stuffy nose. I have not uh, taken any more DayQuil in the past couple of hours. So it's kind of worn out. And my hair is a little funky because I had it tucked under. I had shorter hair today. I tucked my hair under uh, for the tea I went to today. Um, I went to tea with a Sir Dressmaker and two of his lovely, lovely friends who I will put in the description because they are absolutely lovely and they dress uh, retro, vintage, every day. Uh, we had so much time. We went to this uh, lovely little tea place. I think it was called Drink Me Tea. Something, something like that. Um, this will all be correct in the description, I promise. Um, and they had a, currently they have a like Mad Hatter tea party theme going on. And it was so lovely. And the little, the little desserts were decorated like um, Alice in Wonderland little, there were cookies that said, eat me. And there was like little, uh, little cake sandwiches that had the little Mad Hatter card on them. And um, there were uh, delicious things that looked like, looked like Alice in Wonderland things. Sorry, I have to scratch my head because I had a bunch of bobby pins in my hair. Um, you will see po uh, uh, you will see pictures that I will post from this tea on my Instagram, and you will see why I had a bunch of bobby pins in my hair. Um, my hair was tucked under and back um, to kind of do a more retro hairstyle, and then I had a, a cute hat that I wore to tea and it has a little veil. And so I had like bobby pin, not just the hat, but like the veil in place. Anyway, so much fun. Let me tell you this. So this is the first time I've met Sir Dressmaker in person and they're absolutely delightful. Like I love it when you meet um, a friend. I was going to say a new friend, but I I tend to make these friends online and then I meet them in person and it's almost like you're making a new friend, but, but you already know them, but it's kind of like you're making a new friend too. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I don't know because 
because it's kind of you're you're making new friends in person. You're like new in person friends when you've only been like friends online up to that point. Anyway, so it was absolutely delightful there. Absolutely as delightful in person as I knew they'd be. Um, we had so much fun at tea, the four of us, just talking and laughing. And we have a bunch of stuff in common, which is so fun. Um, and these two ladies are absolutely delightful. One of them is actually hosting, is the hostess for the event I'm going to tomorrow. Um, and so she is obviously like this super talented, super just like go-getter. I'm hoping to learn from her event planning and hostessing skills. Um, it's, it's just, it's going to be so much fun tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, I did discover <laughs> that, um, my blouse, uh, snagged on my shoe, um, in the, uh, in my luggage and there's a little tear in my blouse now. And I'm like, there is a tear, like, Seriously, everything that can go wrong on this trip, is there wood? Where is wood? That's like particle board. How about over here? I think that's wood. Okay. Uh, has gone wrong. Like, come on. So I had to find a Joann's and uh, after tea and I drove to a Joann's and bought some thread and then um, I bought a couple of other things in the hopes that I can hide where this tear is. I spent way too much money, of course, because it was Joanne's. And I tell you, this trip, the cost of this trip has become <laughs> astronomically more than I originally planned on. <laughs> it is, it's not good. It's not good. So um, when I get home, I know I say this all the time, but this is legit. When I get home this week, I am seriously just going to like grab piles of my fabric. I am not going to cry over them until they're gone. Um, I'm just going to be like, sorry, you, there's no plan yet in store for you. You are gorgeous and beautiful, but I wouldn't get to you in the next three years. Therefore you have to go. And I'm just going to sell my stuff off to like make up for all of the cost of this trip because handsome hubby here's the worst part so you know how when you are young and your parents like yell at you for things and whatnot but like the thing they do that just really gets you is when they're like you just made me i mean i'm not mad i'm just really disappointed or or you've just made me really sad. I don't know why you would do that, you know, type of thing, you know? And you're like, no, I'd rather you be angry at me. It's kind of like handsome hubby, handsome hubby. I'll, I'll be like, I'm so sorry. He'll be like, wow, you spent a lot of money on this trip that we didn't really plan on. And I'll be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he's like, he'll be like, well, it's a trip just before your birthday. And I guess we'll just have to make it work. And I'll be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, it just, he just like lets me get away with it. But like his mannerisms, the way he talks about it, you know, oh, big sigh and okay. And then he just kind of gets this little like, well, I guess that's how it is. You know, and then somehow I almost wish he would yell at me because I feel like that would be better. I could defend myself if he like yelled at me and be like, all this stuff out of my control happened and this happened and this happened. But with him just being accepting and okay, that's what's happened and that's what's going on. Okay. I can't handle it. Like stop being so accommodating. Anyway, um, so I'm going to sit here probably late into the night hand sewing which I hate doing. Um, yeah. I also overpacked, which I always do. So I have like six days worth of outfits, even though, though I'm like only here till Monday. And I eat, threw in like two extra costumes. Don't know why. Haha. <laughs> totally figured out why. 
um, I must be a psychic um, because I have an opportunity tomorrow to tour this house and Sir Dressmaker was like, hey, uh, you don't by chance happen to have anything like 1890s and I'm like, mm, I totally have something that would work for that, you know. And they're like, yes, we could dress up ahead of time and do this and then change and then go to the event. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to change my hair though, because once my hair is Gibson girled up, it is like cemented in place. But other than that, um, yeah, I totally have another outfit I can wear. So I'm glad that I, my weird overpacking packing tendencies just kind of worked out for me this time. Um, yeah, I also stopped at a grocery store and grabbed a microwave dinner. So I'm going to make that for me now. And that is my evening. There's going to be so many pictures and videos and stuff tomorrow. I promise. I promise my friends it's going to happen. Um, I totally forgot to take video at tea. In fact, I forgot to take pictures. I just get so wrapped up in how fun it is visiting with everyone and my atmosphere and everything that I often forget to take pictures. Thank heavens my friends are willing to share with me. So I should have pictures coming my way and I'll be posting those. It'll be super fun and yay fun. Okay, bye friends. Hi. So um, this is... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sir dressmaker. Ah, the sucky seamstress is with me. We're having so much fun. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's also really sunny and hot. And welcome we're to show, you, show Phoenix. Garden party. Oh yeah, and this is a, the gorgeous garden party we're at. So look at all these beautiful people in their amazing, beautiful, beautiful Quan dresses. This is Juan. He's also beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Our hostess is over there in a pink dress, shimmering and shining in the sun. So yeah, it has been a fantastic day. We have toured this gorgeous Victorian house. Let me show you again. Beautiful, beautiful Victorian house. More on that later. Um, yeah, so um, content. Con Ooh, content. Woo!